out of the box, thrown in front and tapped home! Connor McDavid has hit 50! Connor McDavid is having one of the best offensive seasons we've seen from an NHL player in over 30 years. And while he's known as one of the best playmakers in the world and has racked up over 60 assists in each of the last seven seasons, this year he's become even more dangerous, now leading the league in goals, already with over 50, and on pace to potentially hit over 65. The crazy thing is, McDavid's career high in goals is only 44, and he smashed that total already, still with 20 games to play. So what's so different about this year? I went back and watched all of his 50 goals so far from this season, and here is what I learned. Unlike some of the other top goal scorers in the league like David Pasternak, Tage Thompson, and Mikko Rantanen, Connor McDavid isn't well known for having a blistering wrist shot or a rocket of a one-timer. McDavid, however, is known as the fastest player in the world and has insanely quick hands and elite skill, combined with one of the best hockey minds the game has ever seen. After some research, it appears that nearly all of McDavid's 50 goals this year have come in one of five different ways. Goals that he scored with his blazing speed off the rush, goals that he scored pretty much off of pure skill that few other players can pull off, goals that came via breakaways or a penalty shot, goals that came on the power play, and goals that came from in tight and around the net. With the speed and smarts McDavid plays the game with, it's no surprise that a big portion of his goals come from rush chances. When he's coming in the zone so fast, it is not only difficult for defenders to stop him, but it's also extremely hard for a goaltender to react fast enough, especially because of how deceptive McJesus can be. He often uses head and shoulder fakes to mislead defensemen and goalies, and if he's on a two-on-one, you might as well just head to center ice if you're the opposing team, because more likely than not, the puck's going to end up in the back of your net. He scored more than a few this year, firing quick low shots 5-hole that are nearly impossible to stop, and is a way to score that a lot of the best players in the world love to use. The biggest reason why I think McDavid is leading the league this year in goals and in line to win his first Rock Richard trophy is because he scores a lot of his goals pretty much on pure skill. This goal against the Blackhawks early in the year is just silly, this 4 on 4 goal against Washington is also ridiculous. Here's another one against the Hurricanes that was just unstoppable. And this OT goal against Vegas was one of the nicest I've seen this year and showcased all of what McDavid does best. With the skating ability and speed Connor has, breakaways will always be a way for him to get on the board. He scored 6 of these goals this season so far and each of them has been a little different. The unpredictability along with his lightning fast hands and finishing ability make him a nightmare for opposing netminders. He fakes and goes backhand on Spencer Knight, fakes and flips one upstairs on Jake Allen when he goes low, fakes and goes five hole on Charlie Lindgren, goes across the ice on a partial breakaway and flips it over Martin Jones' pad, goes backhand forehand five hole with speed on Spencer Martin, and deeks Casey DeSmith off his skates in his only penalty shot goal on the year. McDavid has also scored a chunk of his goals on the power play this year, mainly either after being set up perfectly by a teammate or using his skill to find an open shot and rifling a puck past the goalie in open space. And of course, as all good hockey players do, McDavid scores goals finding himself in the right place at the right time, down in and around the net, and bangs home the occasional rebound or finds an open cage after being set up perfectly by a teammate. Connor McDavid clearly has a skill set unlike any other player we've seen in NHL history, which is why he is absolutely dominating the league right now. And some nights it looks like he can do whatever he wants with the puck. He is proof that you don't need a blistering shot to score 50 goals if you can score goals in a variety of ways and make the most out of your opportunities to put pucks in the net. Connor McDavid looks like he's on a mission to succeed this year and is going to do everything in his power to help Edmonton get back to the Stanley Cup Final. The Oilers clearly don't have a problem scoring goals, but do struggle to keep pucks out of their own net. So hopefully Edmonton finds some reinforcements either on defense, goaltending, or both because McDavid and Dreisaitl are doing more than their part.